Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and let's start with the Planet Crafter. The adventure here starts literally the same as in Subnautica and many other alien planet exploration games. You are falling from space in a tiny capsule that will be your only home and link to humanity. So you manage to land with all your body parts intact and may start exploring unfriendly nature around you. Well, alright, I ain't gonna lie, in the Planet Crafter you ain't gonna find any hostile enemies. It's a very relaxing game where you don't have to worry about creating new weapons to defend yourself from large alien monsters, nothing like that. Here you have to gather mineral and resources to survive, and craft all the tools you'll need in order to fulfill your mission, which is to terraform this planet and make it habitable for humans. And half of humanity has boobs, so j just saying, a noble goal. Also keep in mind that this is not just a crafting game, you will explore old crash ships and ruins and discover a planet full of mystery. If interested, keep in mind that you can play the demo version on Steam for free. Besiege. This is a physics-based building game in which you construct medieval siege engines and lay waste to immense fortresses and peaceful villages. Build a machine which can crush windmills, wipe out battalions of brave soldiers and transport valuable resources, defending your creation against cannons, archers and everything else. Game looks beautiful, the art style is 10 cold beers out of 10. And the same is difficulty, at least at the beginning, because my machines did more harm to themselves than to their surroundings. Anyway, I promise you that after a bit of practice, you you will build your incredible mechanical potato of terror and destroy some peaceful castles. Death in the Water 2. I've been eyeballing this game for a long time now. It looks like a very nice shooter game set in an original underwater environment. Here you'll dodge and carve your way through swarms of terrifying sea creatures, controlled by a vicious giant mind-controlling kraken that haunts your every move. You will scavenge for hidden treasure to unlock weapons and upgrades, but the environment of this game will make sure that every dive reveals a new nightmare. As you investigate ruins, wrecks and reefs, the tension escalates. The marine life mirrors real behavior, with sharks and creatures remaining passive unless provoked. So don't splash the water and don't pretend to be a seal. Honestly, this advice is legit not only in this game, but also in real life, except if you are attending a gathering of people who pretend to be seals, which is a very popular thing in Estonia, for example, I'm not joking. So the game features a campaign, also survival and free roam modes. People on Steam are saying that this game is very detailed and is suitable for almost every first-person shooter horror fan. The only bad thing is, if you get motion sickness easily, then avoid. Hot Space Ship Breaker there are so many games where you just fly the spaceships, but have you ever thought about where these ships go when you don't need them anymore? Well, me neither, that would be dumb. But someone couldn't shake the idea and made this game. So here, equipped with cutting-edge salvaging technology, you will carve and slice spaceships to recover valuable materials, upgrade your gear and take on more lucrative contracts and pay your billion credits debt to a shady corporation. Human life means nothing to them, so you are just a tool with the capability of holding other tools. You know, if your hammer could hold another hammer, nobody would need you at all. Just think about that, how fragile everything is. Anyway, the game is a proud owner of very positive reviews, and if you feel adventurous, this may be your spoon of potato salad. Although be careful, too much of zero gravity can convert you into another space object. A comet. A vomit comet. Red Dead Redemption 2 here you are an outlaw on the run, with federal agents and the best bounty hunters in the nation massing on your heels, you and your gang must rob, steal and fight your way across the heartland of America in order to survive. Well, the main story is all about that, but honestly all you will do here is free ride your horse all over the map, do casual quests for the NPCs you encounter and will be occasionally killed by a bear. There is an urban myth that if you stay completely still in the game, the bear will leave you alone. I never tested that, I usually panic, shoot the bear to the leg or a butt, and, you know, then I die. This game is serious, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's full of really funny unexpected events and situations. On the other hand, the story is decent and some of your actions have serious consequences. Like, you know, shooting a bear to a butt will have consequences of your death. Main story will take about 50 hours from your boring life, and all the online content can take 10 times more. You know, those are the same creators as of GTA games. They really know how to pin your attention for a long time, so be sure you have it. Turbo Overkill 
The game's motto is half metal, half human, all murder machine. The title is heavily inspired by some of the all-time greats like Doom and Quake and Duke Nukem 3D with awesome cyberpunk visuals. You play as Johnny Turbo, augmented with hidden arm rockets and a chainsaw that extends from your lower leg, allowing you to slide slice enemies wide open. If that sounds amazing, believe me, play is even better. As people say, the game is set in something between Blade Runner and Doom. Your enemy here is Rogue AI and its army of augmented minions. And the coolest thing is that you just need money, probably for buying better ingredients for your potato salad. And because of that you take on the impossible job of destroying the greatest AI ever created and take the bounty. Sounds easy. Outer Wilds. It was named Game of the Year 2019 by Giant Bomb, Polygon, Eurogamer and The Guardian, so that alone should grab your attention. If it grabs something else or somewhere else, call the police. Here you are, the newest recruit of the Outer Wilds Ventures, a space program searching for answers in a strange, constantly evolving solar system. You will have to find what lurks in the heart of the ominous dog Bramble. Who built the alien city on the moon? Well, obviously aliens, but you know what I mean. Can the endless time loop be stopped? And why is potato salad so delicious? Answers await you in the most dangerous reaches of space. Game has overwhelmingly positive reviews, so you can't go wrong with this one. System Shock. This is the full remake of the famous original System Shock from 1994, combining the old gameplay with all new HD visuals, updated controls, overhauled interface and all new sounds and music. It even has the original voice actor of Shodan, the psychotic AI who has taken control of the Citadel station and turned the crew into an army of cyborgs and mutants. She now plans to do the same to Earth, so you must explore and battle your way through the depths of a space station gone to hell. Stop AI and divert humanity's destruction. The best thing for me, a man who never played the original System Shock of 1994, was a shocking experience, pun intended, when I realized that this is not a linear shooter. You can actually decide where to go first, what areas to explore, and you will also have to make a mental map of the space station in your head, because it is huge and it's easy to get lost. So to spice up your curiosity, I will tell you that here you can kill with your thoughts. That should really grab your attention. If it grabs somewhere else, call the police. Inculinati is an ink-based strategy game straight from medieval manuscripts, where a thought can be deadlier than a sword. You will take your turn in Inculinati duels filled with unexpected tactical depth and humor. Yeah, fart humor, very funny, haha. <laughs> Shut up, that is always funny. You'll embark on an ever-changing journey, build your own bestiary, defeat medieval superstars and collect perks to unleash special powers. And now it's the time when you must subscribe. It's the law, I have nothing to do with that. The penalty of not subscribing to my channel is a ban from Boobhala after you die. It's terrible, I know, so I guess you have to subscribe. Song of Horror, Complete Edition. So this is a cute game for the whole family. Well, if you are a family of monsters, that is. Otherwise, this is a psychological horror game for adults. Here, a famous writer has gone missing, along with his entire family. Worried, his editor sent an assistant to his house in order to look for him, but he never came back. If you have seen the movie In the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill, you can draw parallels already. But that is not the same story, oh no. Here, these disappearances spark a set of events that will soon reveal something dreadful. A a nameless dark entity known only as the present seems to be responsible. But this is not just a simple horror jump scare infused game. Oh no. The evil presence is controlled by an advanced AI that adapts to your actions and decisions, and that makes it, you know, actually alive. That is extremely creepy. So as a player, you will live the story through the eyes of a varied set of characters related to the story in their own way. Every character is different and brings their unique point of view to the investigation, allowing you to approach clues and items items differently, but all of them can die if the presence gets to them, and death is permanent. So how strong are your mental balls? Some say that the game has better horror than Lovecraft has ever written. Well, it's for you to decide, if you have a pair, but I recommend having at least 7 of them. 
Sifu. If you ever wanted to feel like Bruce Lee in his movies, then this game is definitely your spoon of potato salad. The big difference this game offers is that here enemies don't wait for their turn to beat you, so you will have to be quick, nimble and smart to defeat them all. Kung Fu is mastery achieved by practice, a path for the body and the mind. You will learn from your mistakes, unlock unique skills and find the strength to master the devastating techniques of the strongest Kung Fu style ever invented. Well, I have zero knowledge about Kung Fu to be honest. My ninjutsu martial arts teacher always said that if you can avoid the fight, avoid it. If you can't avoid it, grab an object like a chair and beat your enemies with it. Don't use your hands if you can, they hurt. Well, he also said that if a robber attacks you and you manage to knock him off, take his wallet and then pee on him. Show your dominance. And that is not a joke, my sensei really said that. Yeah, for real, leave honor for the movies. Goro Goa an overwhelmingly 97% positive review score is not something we can easily ignore. Gorogoa is an elegant evolution of the puzzle genre told through a beautiful hand-drawn story. The gameplay is wholly original, consisting of lavishly illustrated panels which you arrange and combine in various ways to solve artsy puzzles. Impeccably simple yet satisfyingly complex. People on Steam are talking that this may be the best puzzle game ever created. Well, I have to agree, it is definitely one of the best. Very imaginative and made entirely of art. Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun here, without any hesitation, load up your gun and plunge into battle. You will experience a perfect blend of Warhammer FPS gameplay and the stylish visuals of your favorite 90s retro shooters. You will play a battle-hardened space marine on a perilous mission across the galaxy as you fight against the Chaos Space Marines and Demons. This boomer shooter style, well known from the games like Classic Doom, Duke Nukem or Heretic, is a real treat for older dudes like me, and also for a younger generation who wants to experience experience glory and feel like a true combat god, or, or goddess, or something in between, whatever you are, you will rock this. People on Steam are saying that the game doesn't offer a lot of replayability, but the level of entertainment it provides is massive. Although not as massive as your mama. Stray. The game has an overwhelmingly positive review score and is worthy of the full price without a doubt, but now you can obtain it for a little bit cheaper. This is a cat simulator, but not a usual one, if you know some usual ones, because the game is set in a cyberpunk world and that stirs the pot a bit. The game is a third-person cat adventure set in the detailed neon-lit alleys of a decaying cyber city and the murky environments of its seedy underbelly. You can roam surroundings high and low, defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by nothing but unassuming droids, dangerous creatures and things. You know, like evil duct tape. I it's your enemy. If in your life a cat ever owned you, you know why. Eastwood. This game is cute, like literally the cutest thing. If you have a fluffy dog or fluffy rabbit at home, compared to Eastwood your pet looks like a bald mole rat. I'm sorry. Of course, no offense to those who actually grow bald mole rats at home. You have a different worldview, my friend. I like you. So here you'll find a charming post-apocalyptic world. The story starts when in a deep underground secret facility a miner discovers a mysterious little girl named Sam. Together you will journey through decaying cities, encounter strange creatures and even stranger people. Basically, the game is a relaxing adventure for those who don't like to think a lot, because puzzles here are suitable for people with room temperature IQ and dialogues can be copy-pasted to any children's book. Despite that, this game has something original in it, and it may be a great find to play with your family. Merchant of the Skies here you will become a captain of a trading airship. All you have to do is to get rich and embark on many adventures in the process. Overall, this is a sandbox trading game with light base building and tycoon elements. You start as a captain of a small cloud ship and work your way towards establishing your own trade company. Game incorporates exploration, base building, trading and some minor RPG elements as well. Yeah, you will get experience and become more savvy when it comes to trading, then start your own goods production. And as an experienced cloud Tycoon, you will establish trade routes to move and sell goods without your direct involvement. And you know, get rich and build your own mansion from more than 200 different building blocks. People are saying that this is a very nice chill game suitable for everyone who just want to relax after a hard work day. Cocoon 
This wonderful game is made by the same designer who developed Legendary Limbo and Inside. So that should grab your attention. Also the fact that the game is a proud owner of more than 90% of positive review score on Steam. This is a unique take on the puzzle adventure genre where each world exists within an orb that you can carry on your back. Here you'll have to wrap your head around the core mechanic of leaping between worlds and combine, manipulate and rearrange them to solve intricate puzzles. You will interact with alien environments and biomechanical devices left behind by an ancient civilization, journey through unique and diverse biomes, from industrial structures to massive organic caverns. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, that's gross. Anyway, you will have to discover how these worlds and environments are connected to one another. People who played it are praising the game and saying that it will bend you over, at least your mind. Ancestors Legacy. This is a real-time strategy game influenced by historical events of the Middle Ages. Ancestors Legacy combines resource management and base building with large-scale squad-based battles across vast battlefields. It is all rendered in great detail with Unreal Engine 4. You will experience medieval bloodshed and can enjoy a cinematic action camera that puts you right in the middle of the battle. People on Steam are saying that Ancestors Legacy is easy to learn and it's like chess. It involves a lot of strategy, so the more you play, the better you become. Basically, here a lot of options to crush the enemy lie in the plain sight, but only the master strategist can see them all. So the more you play, the easier the game will seem. Or not, you know, we all have our limits and sometimes our limit is below the requirements of a victory. The Unfinished Swan You'll explore a mysterious all-white landscape by splatting paint to reveal the world around you. You'll follow a swan that stepped out of an unfinished painting and wandered off into a surreal storybook-inspired kingdom. Each chapter brings surprises and new ways to explore the world, which is a host of bizarre and sometimes dangerous creatures. You'll also encounter the eccentric king who built this empire. This is simply one of the best puzzle games ever created. If you are looking for a nice game with a good story and relaxing gameplay, this title is a must try, no doubt. Void Crew it's still in early access but already has more than 90% of positive reviews on Steam and lets you explore the universe along with your buddies or, you know, your mother-in-law. Nobody loves you more, and you know it. Here you will pilot the ship, man the turrets, perform emergency repairs, recharge the power cells, utilize space station weaponry, fabricate munitions and exit the ship on extravehicular missions, be it patching the ship's hull or scavenging derelict wrecks. People on Steam are saying that this game will break your friendships, but you know, it's worth it. You will find new friends. World is full of friends, not yours though. Borderlands 3 You'll blast through weird worlds and enemies as one of four world hunters, the ultimate treasure-seeking badasses of the Borderlands, each with deep skill trees, abilities and customization. So in this looter-shooter RPG you will play solo or join the battle with friends to take on an epic enemies, score loads of loot and save your home from the most ruthless cult leaders in the galaxy. With bazillions of guns and gadgets, every fight is an opportunity to score new gear. And that gear is more than crazy. Firearms with self propelling bullet shields? Check. Rifles that spawn fire-spewing volcanoes? Obviously. Guns that grow legs and chase down enemies while cursing? Yeah, got that too. On Steam, Borderlands 3 is an owner of very positive reviews, so it's a no-brainer if you like shoot and loot. Just grab the game and be happy. Make your enemies unhappy by making them die. And now, thank you for watching and don't forget that in my channel you can find hundreds of videos like that with new ones released almost every day. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.